Having the right hand tools readily accessible can make any job go more smoothly and result in a better end product. Today on Tool Lab, I'll show you a few common and not so common options. Hi, I'm Chris Ermides. Today I want to talk about five affordable everyday use tools. Let's get started. First up, is the pick a dry marker. This is a mechanical pencil and with a simple push of the button, the lead extends. What I like most about it is that the holder has an integrated pencil sharpener in it. So even though this lead, which is 2B, it's kind of soft and it dulls fairly quickly, especially when you're using it on framing lumber, you can sharpen this really quickly. So you can get a really precise point on it, which makes for very accurate markings on a variety of materials. This is just a basic lead, but what I like about this pencil too is that you can buy packs with different color lead and they have wax leads and different materials for marking different materials. I can take that piece out, I can put in this red one. I can sharpen it, put a really nice fine point on it and then I can go to piece of tile and I can make a mark on the tile as much as I want and that's not going to stain, it's actually going to come right off. That's the pick a dry marker, you can't really go wrong. Next up is the channel lock 7 inch diagonal cutting pliers. These stay in my pouch all the time. These are great for pulling nails or for breaking stubborn nails. So for $20, pick yourself up a pair of these. Next up is the Shinwa Bevel Square. Now, bevel squares are very basic tools and they usually have a knob here to tighten them. But tightening that knob can be difficult. And the thing that I love about this one is that the tightening mechanism, the locking mechanism is on the end. So no matter where you are, no matter where the angle is, you can always lock it, and I can take this right here and bring it over to my miter saw and place it down in either direction, and I don't have to worry about the locking nut getting in the way. So for $30, I think this is a great deal. Next up is a respirator by GVS. I discovered this respirator maybe four or five years ago, and it's my go-to respirator for any kind of dust, insulation, things like that. I love the way it fits. It's very comfortable. It's not obtrusive. And you can replace the filters in it, which is really nice. So for $30, you can get this respirator, and this is extra, but I highly recommend buying the case to keep the thing protected at all times. Lastly is this Japanese style pull saw called the Silky Gomboy. Now, despite its ridiculous name, this is a super versatile and useful tool. It's lightweight, it has a nice long blade on it, very fine teeth, and you can use it for pruning, things like that, and that's probably what it's most used for, but carpenters also use it to undercut door jams or to back cut stair stringers or even on window stools when I'm cutting around the returns on the, on the horns. I love this thing. I keep it in my pouch all the time and it's $40. If I don't have my jigsaw with me or a reciprocating saw, I always have something to use. I hope this was helpful. If there are other topics you'd like to hear us cover, please send us an email at toolab at thisoldhouse.com. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Chris Ermides. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.